Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about JPM coin. This is a coin that was released by JP Morgan, uh, whose famous CEO, Jamie Dimon, called Bitcoin a fraud. Hilarious, since uh, since uh, nobody really knows that much about exactly what it does, other than some press releases that were put out that say that it's, uh, it's going to be used for settlements between large parties, and um, it'll be sort of like the payment rail or something like that. Uh, sounds a lot like Ripple. Has about uh, has the same amount of transparency as the Petro. Uh, doesn't really no nobody really knows that much about it. Um, that said, we do know a few things. Uh, they are totally coming on the blockchain bandwagon. They're trying to um, convince people that they are using this new technology to do something or other. Uh, when in reality, it's a centralized database, no different than the Venezuelan Petro, right? Like um, that was supposed to be a cryptocurrency that was backed by oil or something like that. Uh, nobody knows it, uh, you know, any of the software that's running on it. Nobody understands uh, any of it because the Venezuelan government refuses to release any of that stuff. So uh, in many ways, JP Morgan is, uh, is trying to ride the blockchain hype. Right, uh, the the hype. Uh, it, it does feel about a year too late to be doing that, but they're, uh, you know, apparently they have some research and development group that's been working on this for a while, and this is typical of big companies. You. Uh, you have these giant R&D departments that have to justify their own existence. So, th so they put out useless kind of things to uh, show people that uh, show people in their own company that their salaries are justified and that they're doing something worthwhile. When in fact, they haven't created anything interesting whatsoever. I mean, you can you can do exactly what they're saying with a centralized database and. Uh, one that just updates. You can do it in SQL. Um, maybe have like a uh, you know signed authorization field in the database or something like that. It, it really wouldn't take very much. But uh, this is what they're choosing to do. It's uh, it's kind of sad, really, uh, that that this is the best that they could come up with uh, with all of this. Uh, it would have been much more interesting if they integrated Bitcoin into their financial services, allowed people to pay for some of their services with Bitcoin, or allow uh, you know custody of Bitcoin or uh, the ability to buy Bitcoin or something like that. Instead, they've gone down this centralized route. I will say this though. At least they are being a little more honest about uh, their coin being completely centralized because uh, a lot of altcoins, a lot of ICOs, a lot of these things are not very honest about their being a single point of failure. I think JP Morgan's fairly clear that they are the single point of failure. If, if, they're, if they go down, JPM coin goes down. Uh, if they go bankrupt, the JPM coin goes bankrupt. Of course, I, I'm pretty sure their CEO thinks that they're too big to fail and that they would get bailed out no matter what, which actually might be true. Uh, regardless, um, you know, it's an interesting experiment in capitalism. Uh, they are trying to ride the hype train and trying to, I don't know, provide some sort of, uh, you know, uh, buzz in the market as a way to, um, I don't know, uh, hire their stock price or something like that, or to justify some R&D department rent seekers existence. Anyway, hope that helps you. This song is.